Hey, my name is Joe, and this is my lovely fiance. Alicia. This is a testimonial video for Josh Hudson and his amazing marriage mastery course that completely transformed who I was as a man and completely transformed our relationship. Because a few months ago, we were in a really bad spot. So bad that Alicia left. And that was my wake up call, right? So I started taking this, I started taking the, this amazing transformational program, the Marriage Mastery Course by Josh Hudson. And let me tell you something. As I was going through the course, it was like Mike Tyson was standing in front of me and pow, 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 pow. He was punching me, like bang, 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 bang. And, and, I, and I saw all the mistakes. By watching the, by going through this transformational program, I saw all the holes in my boat, right? And I was able to plug them really quickly. Now, in my own defense, I've always been a diehard romantic and I've always been very spontaneous. So I had that going in my favor, but I was missing all the other components. He was, and just because the provision element was there financially, that wasn't enough because my emotions weren't being taken care of. My heart wasn't being cherished. And I took that easy out by saying, you know, I want kids, so let, let's end it. And in truth, that was an easy out and not what I really wanted, but I knew he couldn't argue that. And I also at the time didn't have all the words to put my thumb on how I was feeling because after months of increasingly feeling like I wasn't being seen, like I wasn't being heard. I, I you know, my heart ha grew hard and I wasn't able to put all these words for what was going on, but I thought, okay, here's an easy out that he can't argue. So I'm going to try to take it. Right. Right. And to explain it to you guys at the beginning of our relationship, I already laid it on the line that I never, ever, ever wanted to have a child. So I made that clear to her. And I said, if you, if you wanna be with me, that's great. But understand this, I never want kids. So that was laid out. So she took the easy way out because she knew I couldn't argue that. But when she, when she left, you know, we realized it was much more than that. And like I said, when I took this course, when I took this program, it was like, I saw all the holes in the ship. I saw where I wasn't communicating properly. I saw where I wasn't giving her the love and attention that she not only required, but she deserved. You see, I was doing all this at the beginning, but what happens to most guys in relationships is they begin to take their partner for granted. And I see it every day. And I was taking her for granted, and she in turn was taking me for granted. And this relation, this, this program, the way I explain it to people, it was like, you know from the movie, the Lord of the Rings, Gandalf the Great, the guy with the big white beard and the staff. I feel like I'm fucking Gandalf the Great because Josh gave me this magic wand and I waved it over my relationship and it was, mm -hmm. it transformed, completely transformed our relationship. So much so that she's fucking back on her heels that she doesn't even recognize who I am. Baby, tell them what's going on now. It's like the man I met in the beginning is back with all of the, the romance, the thoughtfulness, the you know tender touches, the those little things, dancing with me much more, that initiative, that, that care. And when we communicate, he'll ask me, do you feel heard? And until that's the case, conversation's not done and he's much more able to ask do you want to be heard right now or do you want a solution where it used to be very dismissive feeling would cut me off I would feel shut down I wouldn't feel heard and I started to feel like I was walking on eggshells so I wasn't able to really be comfortable and feel safe in my feminine energy so then it shifted the polarity and you know, then we started having less sex and all of that. But by having more intimacy, by feeling heard, by feeling better connected, we're having way more sex again as well. And it's actually connected. Right. It's actually connected sex. Just not matter of fact, 
let's get off. You get done. I'll get done. Is everybody happy? Okay, we go on our way. But it's it's even beyond that in the bedroom. The intimacy is everywhere. The intimacy is everywhere. When we go for a motorcycle ride, when we walk on the beach, it's that whole connectedness that we now have together. And, you know, we have a motto now. We leave nothing unsaid. Nothing is ever left unsaid. When, when we, like when Alicia said, when we're done, when we feel we're done with the conversation, I'll ask her, is there anything that you have left to say? Do you feel like I understood you? Do you feel like I heard you? Do you have anything else to say? And if she doesn't, then we move forward. But if she does, there's still more work to do. And there's always more work to do because recently we discovered, because he, he asked me, you know, like, what's going on? Because you noticed I was not little, little in the, distant, right? distant in the bedroom. Right. And then we were able to talk about it and discern. I was like, okay, I've had, you know, X, Y, and Z happened this week and I was attributing it to that. But then I was reflecting on our communication patterns mm -hmm. and we started to shift back a little bit to how things used to be. Mm -hmm. But that addiction tolerance is gone where he noticed it way faster. Right. I was like, before our split and then coming back before that, it's like most of the sex was disconnected, just perfunctory, like, okay, like, yeah, we'll do it. Like, make sure he's taken care of. But he never brought it to my attention before about like, hey, you know, you, you don't feel present when we're making love, like what's going on? Right. But he did that now. And we were able to discern like, oh wait, some of how you've been communicating with me, some of these little things have started to shift a little bit. Right. And then when he had that realization, you were crushed. I was crushed, right? Because what I learned is that it's my responsibility. This relationship is my responsibility. I am the keeper of this relationship. I am the, I navigate this ship. When it comes to the relationship, the man takes charge. And I take full responsibility in this relationship, of this relationship. It's my job to make sure that this is full all the time. Because he'd even asked me a couple of times in the last week, like, is your heart full? And I said, yes, but it didn't feel, it didn't feel that way. Right. Because of how the communication had shifted and th those touch points, those checkpoints weren't as, present as they had been mm -hmm. the last few months yes but he was able to notice it right away adjust and have that that vigilance but i also wasn't aware of what it was exactly either right because of the addiction tolerance where it's like i was so used to it being that way before that when it started to shift back to that it didn't send up flags for me right away but it did for you it did for me it did for me and we were able to talk about it figure out what was going on and where and adapt and adjust accordingly where it, it's like now I'm being more affectionate because that was part of it. He noticed I wasn't being as affectionate, but he wasn't either. Right. And because, you know, the ego wants to go back to what is familiar and it, to her and our, our credit, we've, we've been doing the inner work for over a decade, peeling back the layers. And, you know, we're, we're proud that we are in a couple's consciousness relationship where we know how to work with each other. We know each other's traumas. We know each other's challenges and we work with each other to in those challenges, not only individually, but how they affect our relationship. And Josh's course has been absolutely amazing because this is a transformational program that absolutely rev revolutionized our lives, our relationship. And we want to say thank you, Josh Hudson for the amazing work that you do and we love you and we appreciate it and we would not be here today if it wasn't for this for this transformational program absolutely because now we're able to one recognize when there's issues going on or when something doesn't quite feel right able to identify it much faster and now he's got the skills the knowledge the tools to know how to shift things back where i mean it was difficult realizing like, okay, we're starting to spring a little leak again here. Right. It was hard. But, but you, you knew what to do. Right. Right. And I was crushed by it. But Alicia was like, you know, we both recognized it. We both talked about it. Mm -hmm. So we got it. And we're improving. And we're getting better. And we are. Because it only took a couple of days and boom, we were back right on track again. 
So it's about being vigilant. It's about really putting the relationship first, above all, above everything, above everyone else. Our relationship is number one, then everyone else or everything else. But we are number one in each other's lives. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else? I'm so grateful to have my partner back, my best friend. It's been great. And even though there'll be more bumps in the road in the future, we've got the skills, the tools, the resources to handle them. And we know now when that little voice is like, oh, it's okay that you didn't, didn't you know, finish the conversation that way. It's okay that you were a little short. It's not. It's not okay. And we're able to both recognize that. You know, and if I'm able, if I'm short with her, I recognize it right away and say, hey, you know, I don't think I, I felt like I didn't communicate with you in the proper way. I recognize my tone was a little off. If I made you feel a certain way, would you please forgive me? It wasn't intentional. This is the way our conversations are now, man. You know, very open, very honest. There's no more resentment blowing us apart. No more little things. It's all handled in the moment. So nothing can grow from a little thing to a big thing. Those little things are big things. They are. They are. Anything else, baby? That's all. Thank you, Josh. Amazing transformational program. Every one of you who are watching this video right now deserves to invest in themselves and to become part of our amazing community and this amazing program. Y'all have a great day. Bye now.